Hello and welcome to episode 15 of Playing for Set Pieces. We are with Lilstrom, we are top, we are dominant. We've only managed to draw one and lose one all season. Um, we are literally halfway through the season at this point, having played 16 games. Uh, in terms of our form, last time you saw us, of course, was the game against Mulder in the Cup, uh, the quarterfinal, which we hammered them 4-1. Again, I didn't expect necessarily to do that well. They are sixth in the Elitarian. And one of the things I've been thinking about, of course, was that... Uh, in terms of our results in the league, the only teams we struggled against, obviously we scored a, recording a loss against Starbeck, and uh, we drew with Stromgod set, which wasn't ideal, but uh, those are the two teams that obviously got uh, relegated last season. So uh, my concern was, is there a massive gulf in terms of quality between this division and that division? But of course, if we actually look only at the cup, where are we? The Nor Norgish Mesterskopa, um, Vinbiart and Blacko were a lower team, but Bodo Glimt, of course, they are in the top division, albeit possibly not beyond the end of this season if they don't pick their uh, results up a bit. Obviously, it's it's about halfway for them, give or take a game or two, so there is time for them to save their season. Um, and, of course, I with Valerenga... Yes, they're seventh in the uh, Elite Serian. So, again, we struggled a wee bit against them. We won on penalties, and, and obviously Mould are a premiership side, so, but we hammered them 4-1. So, my concerns are somewhat alleviated in terms of how we're going to do next season. Obviously, hopefully in between then and now, there will be more signings and a little bit of strengthening to do anyway, even though, obviously, we've been pretty solid. Um, but in terms of going back to the schedule, whoops, without the filters on, you may go, filters, there we go. Um, we don't have the semi-final of the cup against Odd until uh, September, so we've got, obviously, the last game here in July that I'm going to show you against Aylesund, and... Uh, then we've got the full month of August without a cup game. And I think that I'm probably going to come back for the Starbeck game just because we obviously owe them for that defeat last time. And I think that's a, a tough, tough game for us, potentially. So, um, though I had considered Frederikstrad, even though we beat them, but they're in second. I mean, in terms of uh, the actual league itself, Frederikstrad... They're doing pretty storm, and I mean, Strong God set are only a point behind them, don't get me wrong, but look at their goal difference compared to those. And uh, Aylesund, who we're up against today, aren't doing all that badly. So, I mean, they don't have a 40 goal difference like us. But they're still doing all right. And, of course, Starbeck, they're up there as well. They're in the hunt at least for the playoffs at the moment. Um, like I say, it is only halfway, and a lot can happen. Um, but it's interesting... We have the top three rated average rating players. Let's just have a look at that. I'm curious to see. Oh, no, we don't. We have the top eight. That's not bad, is it? Um, but in terms of goal scorers, we hadn't got anybody on the list until recently. Oscar Arga, um, especially with Sol back and being out injured, has managed to uh, score a few for us. Um, Sol back and, of course, down there in uh, fifth place. It's a shame. He might have gotten a call up. For the uh, Norwegian team, but unfortunately he was injured. Because um, honestly, he does—he genuinely does deserve it from how well he's playing. Um, so yeah, pretty cool, pretty decent results in that respect. But like I say, um, today's game is against Alisand, and as you might expect, we're favourites. So yeah, I just want to bring you back quickly for this. FC Michelin, probably the top Danish team, have come in for Sol back and with a, well, a 400k offer that could go up, well, it will go up to 500k, but uh, I'm so excited to see that he has no interest in joining them, so I get to reject the offer. Um, I'm just going to reject that offer for now. I don't want to upset the guy. He was willing to speak to him, but as I don't want him to. That's good enough for me. He doesn't really want to join them, so I'm quite happy with that. But we do have a lot of people who are wanted. 
Olesol Bakken isn't just wanted by Michelin, he's also wanted by Copenhagen, AAB and Rosenberg too. So that's some fairly big uh, Scandinavian teams after him. Uh, Schlordal is targeted by Copenhagen and Rosenberg also. Tong Noi, who uh, has been doing really quite well lately, um, he's picked his game up a lot and uh, put in some great performances. He's actually a really decent sort of... Uh, replacement i guess for easy albeit um i often play them together with easy moving over to the box to box role especially where uh um younger uh, what's his name goodness me he should be on the pitch maybe he's not but anyway so yeah tong noi fantastic nobody wants saga but that's good he only just joined us um krogstad sorry that's whose name i was trying to remember Frederick krogstad obviously He's been out with injury. He's back now, um, and he's uh, more or less fit. He uh, played first half in the last game, and I think he played the first half in the game before that. Um, but yeah, Tong Noi has been a decent replacement for him, as I say, playing as a deep line playmaker in the midfield with Easy moving over to the box to box role. And I think Easy plays better as a deep line playmaker, but you know what? He didn't mind the box to box role, so I wasn't too upset with that. So yeah. Sinian, Sheriff Sinian, he's wanted by Rosenborg as well. Apparently Rosenborg won all our players and Bran. Odemark Spacken, our left wing playmaker. He's wanted by Michelin and Tromso. Simon Kind Mickelson, who is definitely not going, he's wanted by FC Copenhagen. Eric Brendan, he's wanted by AAB, Michelin, Bodo Glimt, Hargesson and Tromso. And Easy is wanted by Bran. Um, so yeah. I mean, we've also got Ingnonen, who's our uh, backup keeper, who is already on the list. Um, yeah. Sanders, Ol Sanders Ulf want him, and uh, AFC Eskilstuna want him on loan. Which, they can't have him on loan, but uh, if somebody wants to buy him, you can buy him. So yeah, there's a lot of players there, especially as, you know, our first team, if we look at this, that are wanted. Um, so whether or not we'll struggle to hold on to them, I don't know. The fact that we're going up to the Prem at the end of this season, we might be all right. But I'm going to try my best to keep hold at least of the most important ones and uh, see how we get on. OK, it is time for Lilstrom at home to Aylesund. In goal, it's Amada, a back four of Kain Mickelson, Egan Rismark, Sinian and Kohlberg Schlordal. Left wing, Odemark's back and central midfield, Tongnoy and Krogstad. Tongnoy's rich vein of form, keeping easy out of the first team. He is on the bench, and Fran Tudor back to right wing. Up front, it's Sol Bakken, back again after injury, as I say. He managed a couple of games lately, and of course, Arga. So, we need to prove a point, apparently, according to my assistant manager. It's a great opportunity to show all of the pundits they've been right to back you up, because you are all pretty awesome. Um... I'm going to go and demand that you do well. Keep you motivated. You seem motivated, so that's strong. In fact, the only one is Sheriff Sindian, who's a little bit... Oh, you listen keenly, that's good enough. Kick off. Lilstrom in the yellow with the black shorts and Aylesson in the orange with the blue shorts. And we will go full match for just a few seconds. It is a throw-in for Aylesson. And they find George Mickelson. Puts it out to Olafsson, who's got a ball forward there. Carlson puts it out wide to George. Odemark's back and trying to make the tackle and not being successful. But uh, they're keeping all of the possession at the moment in this first minute. So I think we are already going to go. Are we already on pressing, are we? Let's go to possession then. Sinian picks up the loose ball. Schlordal with a bad pass forward, but Odemark's back and says, I'm having that, but doesn't get it. feel like I want to put us on cautious, even though we're at home, which seems ridiculous. Free kick to Ellison. And they're trying to undo the defence. They're putting some good passes in. Schlordal with a decent tackle. And that was a fairly uh, wide shot there. Amada with the goal kick. Sinian brings the ball forward. 
Schlaudel now back in the team. Krogstad, good to see him back. Fran Tudor with a run. I'm going to get a cross in. Cut out. Krogstad's back on the ball. Tongnoy, Tong Odermark's back under Tudor. Tries to find Arga. Tudor again with the cross. Odermark's back and putting it over. That's not bad. That's a bit more like it. I'm going to go get creative. Who's in goal? A lie. <laughs> anyway, Tongnoy on the ball. Sold back and finds Krogstad. Tudor puts it across for Sol back and he just puts it over. We're looking all right, aren't we? Let's go on to key highlights. Two shots on, three shots on, none on target though. With only one from Allison. Goal kick now for Amada. Sinian coming forward. Tongnoy puts it out wide for Tudor. He's unchallenged in the box. Cross. Kind Mickelson, another cross, Sol Backen looking all oh, just wide. It's good to have Sol Backen back, I'm not lying to you. Throw in for Ellison. Fett finds Carlson. Ooh, Olofsson goes around our defender. And I don't know if that was a cross or a shot, but it was wide by quite some distance. Not that I can complain, we haven't had a shot on target yet. So I'm going to say, let's get creative. Everybody seems motivated, which is great. Throw in. Short out of Krogstad. Krogstad dispossessed by Carlson. Oh, Ficker Strand could have had a shot, but he decided to pass it back out. Carlson now. Ori. Well, I don't like the day. Oh, Sol back in an Arga. Arga's one on one. Oh, just wide. So close. Nice work there from Oscar Arga. Tudor picks up the goal kick. That seems to happen a lot for Tudor. Into the middle. Cleared. Krogstad. Tongnoy. Krogstad again. They're just passing it around. Looking for an opening. Kind Mickelson now with a cross. No. Odermark's back in. Tongnoy. Mickelson with a cross. Arga. Puts it over again. Oh no he didn't. He got tipped over. It's a corner. Tongnoy to take it. Curls it in. Sol back in. Puts it over. Or past whichever. Either way, it did not happen, but uh, we're looking good. Nine shots, three on target. I'm going to demand more. We are plenty motivated, but we haven't scored a goal yet. And it's uh, we like to score goals. We like to score lots of goals. Ooh, Sol Backen's game's dropped, as is Argus. Well, it's half time. Twelve shots, three on target to their three and nil. I mean, we're the stronger team, but it don't mean nothing. She'll see a system manager saying. Challenge the team to go out and prove a point. Well, we can. Yeah. But you, sir, and I'm just going to quickly check the tactics here. Yeah, uh, that's all right. I don't have a problem with those two being that way around. Perhaps what I'll do is swap it back, because both play reasonably well in either situation. So I'm just going to tell them then they're not good enough. At least not tonight so far. Fire him up a wee bit. In fact, Odermark's back and He's had a couple of games in a row now where he's not done so great. Although I think yelling at him picked it up last time. Krogstad. You can do better. We all know that. And uh, Sheriff Sinian as well and Slaudal can also pick his performance up let's start the second half and see how that goes let's get creative off the bat it's a bit early oh Kind Mickelson with the cross tries to find Tudor but it's cleared and Olofsson's brings in Fisker Strand who has a go and uh, Amada saves it quite nicely corner for Aylison Oh, just Olai. Oh, what a lovely save there from Amada. He might have conceded a corner, but what a cracking, cracking save. Obviously, their corner didn't come to anything. So, yeah, they've got Alai in goal, but they've also got Olai in defence. But we still don't look like we're going to score a goal, do we? 
Oh my goodness. Oh. Thank goodness for Ali Armada. Don't be nervous, mate. Though I'm with you. We're not doing great. Let's go positive. Uh, pressing. And uh, show some passion. Come on, we can do it. Soul Baggin has not picked his game up. I am pausing this. And I am subbing him off. And we're going to bring on... Who are we going to bring on? Castro never seems to do anything. Samara Samarison's capable of scoring goals. As is Eric Brendan. However, let's run him as an advance forward. And Aga, you can drop back again to being the Trek at Easter. I just want to check that you are in your favoured position. Yep, you want to be on the right. That's fine. Anybody else needs to come off? Not really. Just poor old uh, Sol Bakken. Again, recently back from injury. He's pretty much match fit these days. But, uh... Yeah, he's had some solid-ish performances. So I can't really complain about his form. He's had a bad game for the first time in a while. I'm not too upset about that. Let's confirm those changes and carry on. Um, I don't know if I want to demand more, get creative, we'll show some passion, but either way... Oh, it's a corner for Ailson. Tudor looking to head off to counter-attack. He's got players in front of him. He's gone wide. He's in the box. And he crosses it for Odemark back and all, but it's been disallowed for offside. That's annoying. That's excellent work by Tudor. I'm sorry, what? What just happened? Someone else was offside who didn't touch the ball, I don't think. We might have to have a look at that in the end. That don't seem right to me. Um, Let's just get creative. I'm not sure what happened there, but I don't like it. Oh, especially not as now. We've given away a penalty. Fisker Strand... Oh, my. Right in the hands of Arma Armada. Thank you very much. We will take that. Especially as we're not seeming like we're capable of getting a goal today. Mickelson's coming forward. You know what? I'm going to go attacking. And I'm going to demand more as soon as the opportunity arises. Kind Mickelson with a free kick. Tongnoi. Odermark's back in. Tongnoi again. Tudor. It's just wide. And that's it. Full time. Nil nil. 17 shots. Only 5 on target. 15 fouls to their 18. Now it's a bit foully this game. And 11 shots. 6 on target for Aylison. So I mean. They missed a penalty. But we had a goal disallowed. And uh, I'm not happy about that. I'll be honest with you. Not happy about that disallowment at all. I mean I can only assume that the. The guy who was offside got a touch on it with his head. But realistically, yeah, Arga lost, lost out in terms of his performance there. So, yeah, you lot were rubbish. There is no excuse for not winning that. Especially after last time we played him. And we were away then. Okay, we're going to come back for a final review before we do. We're going to have a look at this disallowed goal controversy. Because, yeah... Was not happy about that. Um, obviously, my ass my assistant manager handles all of the uh, media in this particular save, which is fine by me. And uh, didn't want to get told off by the FA, so we didn't criticise it. But personally, I might have done. But let's have a look at the incident and just see if we can figure it out. Because, like I say, and look right to me. So yeah, we got Fran Tudor coming forward. He'd gone wide. He got past his man. Put the cross in. And yeah. It didn't touch anybody else. Even though Samarison I think was ahead of him. Let's watch it one more time. And I'm going to pause it. Yeah. Fran Tudor. Puts the cross in. I can't pause it. Alright. Yes I can. I can do it this way. And you know what? We're going to go. All the way. Let's go back. Slow the speed right down. Not that far. 
Fran Tudor. Going past his man. The point of kicking it, which is now my number nine, which might be Arga, but I think it's, uh, what's his face, is offside. But the ball, oh no, here's the kick. Yeah, he's offside. But at a point Tudor crosses it, he's not crossing it at him. It's not touching any other player. I know the marks back and's there. And hammers it home. How is that offside? How is that goal offside? I don't understand unless I'm misunderstanding the uh, offside rule, which I don't think I am. He didn't interfere with play. He didn't interfere with the ball. So I might put this out as a separate short video just to ask people's opinions. So if you're watching this on Twitter, let me know what you think because it seems iffy to me. I'm just saying. Anyway. We will close that. It is a controversy. However, we dropped points. That's our second draw of the season against Alessand. But that's fine. We're still top. We're still strong and clear. And like I say, our only real issue was not being able to score goals today. Both Sol back and Anaga struggling a wee bit to actually uh, score goals there. Which, considering how many, how well they're doing and you know how good their uh, average rating is and the like, everybody's entitled to... Uh, a bad match every now and again. Um, it's just, like I say, that that offside thing there. Why am I only getting a B? That's the other thing. Let's have a look at my manager performance. Oh, no. Because I've, they're concerned about our nil-nil draw with Aylesand. I mean, it's a solid B. The police of the progress made towards the club vision. Let's have a look at the club vision, shall we? Reach playoff minimum. Very pleased. Quarter final minimum, very pleased. We're in the semi. We managed that and we're on course working within the wage budget, I think. Look at the finances. It's been a bit slow today. There we go. Oh god yeah. We had six, we got nearly sixty grand a week, call it fifty nine and a half, and we're only spending thirty three, so we are well on top of that. We've still got money in the bank. Probably not for much longer. Um hmm. So yeah, B minus. I feel like it's a bit harsh. It should be an A. Matches. Please, with the results as a B minus, it should be an A. I mean, I know we just drew nil nil, but come on, have you seen how we've been doing this season? Um, only a C on the transfers. I mean, I know they got a little bit upset by a couple of them. To be honest with you, I may have made some mistakes, but that's fine. But the fans are happy. Um, in terms of tactics, they're very happy with that. In terms of the squad, they're happy. Let's have a quick check on the dynamics because, as you know, there we go. I've got finally got good managerial support. It's about time. If we have a quick look at the hierarchy, let's see who supports me. I'm not that many people. I don't understand why Krogstad doesn't support me, considering that we're mates and I'm his favourite ever staff. I think I showed you that in an episode before. Makes no sense to me. But at least Easy and Egg and Rismark are on my side. Castro is, but... Um, Arger is, that's good news. Amada is, that's good news. I mean, I did bring them both in. Hargeschlauer is. Did I bring Hargeschlauer in? Nope. He was already here when I arrived, so that's not mine. So I'm very happy that he, he supports me, but... I feel like a lot more of you should be supporting me, considering what, what I'm helping you achieve here. Um, Amos Morrison is approaching the end of his career. Is that why he's on a bit of a downer? He does tend to, uh, well, he's had more first starts than he has uh, sub appearances, and he's managed five goals in seven starts, which ain't bad. But still, he is not the first choice by a far point. But what does it say? If he retires soon, we should be able to cope due to having two other leaders in the team. Crockstad and Kind Mickelson. I don't think uh, Egan Rismark and Sol back in a far behind being team leaders themselves, to be fair. Uh, lacking a good number of highly influential players in the squad. Well, that'd be something I can look at during the close season when we go up. Because, let's face it, we got some bank and we got a heck of a lot of wage budget. It's just really finding the players and... When you're down in the division below and not in the Premiership, obviously 
Premiership quality players are going to be, yeah, I'm not dropping down, mate. So a lot of this kind of depends on us going up, which is fine because, like I say, we are clear. Clearly, it's clearly happening. There's no question about it. I have no doubt in my mind that we are going up as champions, no less. I don't think there's going to be any playoff rubbish unless we have some ridiculous turn, you know, downturn in form, which two draws in one month or two draws in four games is pretty disgusting, really. You know, we didn't draw a single game in June. And we had, well, I mean, we lost one in May, but still. Uh, anyway, coming up next, it will be the game against Starbeck at the end of August. And after that, of course, we will be back for the semi-final at odd, which will only leave us a few short games before the end of the season. Um, I am intending to come back for the Strong God set game. But uh, in the meantime... If you enjoyed that please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more football manager videos and thank you very much for watching